Okay, uh, since the last video, I've got the uh, faceplate uh, put back on, and uh, <clears throat> I've went ahead and got the wires connected and uh, uh, shrink tubing on there. And now we'll go ahead and get the uh, the body put back on. Or put get the I'm going to call this the head. Put back on the body. And uh, I'm not going to beat on this with uh, anything. We're just going to use the bolts to, uh, to tighten it on, pull it down in, in place. And there's little, there's little lock washers. So get our lock washer installed. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to put some Loctite on here eventually, but right now, what I'm going to do is I'm just I'm putting the entire thing back together, and then uh, then we're going to test it, make sure that everything works good before I uh, before I permanently get it set up. So we'll uh, we'll get this put back together with uh, with the three screws that I have, and we're going to install those. Oops. Here, and that one goes all the way through, and this one goes all the way through. Oh, there it is. It's got a lock washer on it, and this one goes all the way through. Okay. Now again, I had to cut three three of these heads off uh, using an angle grinder, and you can see the gap difference between this one and this one. And uh, when that stud was in there, I just cut through there, and then when I had extracted everything, I uh, I hooked my battery drill to it, tightened the chuck down on the shaft, and then extracted the screw from the body. So when the other screws arrive, I'll uh, get those all in. But for now, we're just going to get this together and, uh, and then work on our mast, get the thing up and make sure we're, uh, we're producing some, some voltage and some amperage and such. Now, my, uh, while I'm putting these screws in, I'm going to talk about my existing solar uh, setup. I've got it right now, everything's 12 volt. This is a 24 volt um, generator. Um, also uh, received along with this was a, a 24 volt charge controller, hybrid charge controller for this, designed to take uh, the three phase, the three phase AC, directly turn it into uh, 24 volts usable DC, and uh, also it uh, it can withstand uh, 300 watts of uh, of uh, solar. So what I have to do is now completely, which I knew I was going to have to do this at some point, I'm going to take my 12 volt system and convert it to a 24 volt system. And uh, I was waiting until I got the uh, uh, inverter I wanted, which is the uh, Outback uh, 24 volt, I think it's 25 watt um, inverter is what I was looking at uh, getting. But right now what I have installed is a power jack um, grid tie inverter and that's uh, twenty eight to fifty five volts. I don't think uh, I'm going to have enough power um, to operate it with the uh, 24 volt system, but we'll see. I may just sell that power jack online. I've only had it, uh, you know, six months or so. And uh, the last month I haven't been using it because my uh, that storm took my solar panel array out. So um, be a pretty good deal for somebody. All right. 
Those are pretty much pretty much tight. Double check them all the way around. All right. Make sure we got free movement here. We do. Okay. Um, the slip ring here. Uh, I, uh, I'm gonna put the put those screws back in. Thing and you hear is a bamboo floor going in next door. Again, I'm going to uh, take every one of these out and put a dab of Loctite on every single screw, a medium set, so that I can take this back apart in the future if ever need be. Alright, so now our, our unit's back together. New bearings are installed. We've got rotation. Um, now i got to work on the mast and get the mast up. I'll, uh, I'll do a couple videos on what I'm doing with the mast and how that's going back together, but um, we're good to go here. Um, oh, you know what? We're not good to go. I forgot. I'm going to go ahead and put in the last of these, the last of these bolts here. This one goes in, and this one here, two, should be three of them. Yeah, I'm uh, excited to get this up. See, uh, see how we're gonna do this, and uh, see how we're gonna get, uh, get how much power we're gonna get out of this. I think about 400 watts, and uh, the uh, this has been clocked at, at pumping out 500 watts, so it can actually produce more than it's rated. Um, I'm talking to the factory. This should. This uh, this is in, in a 27 mile, 20 I think 27 mile an hour wind. It should produce 400 watts. Um, in uh, in a 30 mile an hour wind, it could or it can produce uh, 500 watts. Um, preliminary numbers, uh, you know, uh, proofs in the pudding. So I'm going to connect it all up and and uh, see what we actually get out of this. Okay, that's to hold the the blades on in the hub all right thanks a lot for watching uh, the rebuild on uh, changing the bearings out and uh, the next step is uh, get it up on the mast and get the uh, prop turned thanks